in the heart of Tainan, where the air is warm and the sea whispers tales of the past, lived Grandma May. Every summer, her granddaughter Tiffany, a bright-eyed girl with long hair flowing like the breeze, would visit from New York. This year was different, though. Tiffany wasn't just here for a vacation. She was here to learn. Grandma, what's so special about the milkfish? Tiffany asked one morning as she sipped her soy milk. Grandma May smiled, her eyes twinkling with stories. Ah, uh, milkfish is more than just food here, my dear. It's a part of our heritage and a symbol of sustainable living. Intrigued, Tiffany followed her grandma to the nearby fish ponds. This is where it all begins, said Grandma May, pointing to the shallow waters where tiny milkfish, known as fry, swam. These little ones are raised with care, respecting nature's balance. We make sure the water is clean and the environment healthy. This is called sustainable aquaculture, and it helps protect our oceans. As they walked, Grandma May explained how the milkfish would later move to deeper ponds. Each stage of their growth is carefully managed by different farmers. It's a community effort, she said, and when they're grown, some are made into delicious dishes like milkfish balls, which we make in places like Baymen and Jiangju. Tiffany marveled at how every step of the process involved teamwork and respect for the environment. So, it's like everyone has a job to help the milkfish grow, and it all works together? Exactly, Grandma May nodded. And it's all done in a way that makes sure we don't harm the planet, so future generations can enjoy this, too. That's part of the UN's Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs. Later, they visited a processing plant in Shiwejia, where Tiffany saw how the milkfish were carefully prepared. She even got to try removing fish scales, though it was tricky, and she ended up with a face full of fish scales. Oops, she laughed. But I get it now, Grandma. This isn't just about eating fish. It's about taking care of the earth and each other. That evening, as they enjoyed a meal of milkfish soup, Grandma May said, sustainability means we think about tomorrow today. By caring for our milkfish and the world they live in, we're ensuring that both people and nature thrive together. Tiffany smiled, savoring the taste of the fish and the wisdom of her grandma. I think the milkfish is my new favorite fish, she declared. And I'm going to tell everyone back in New York about how we can all live more sustainably, just like you do here in Tainan. And so, Tiffany returned home with more than just stories. She carried with her the lessons of sustainability, ready to share them with the world.